Oh, hi. So welcome to guitar lesson number five. Today we're gonna to be learning three chords and these are three of my favorite chords to play. I love the way that they sound. I love the way that they fit with the other chords. You'll, you'll understand. Um, so I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see the fretboard. And again, this is me just teaching you where to put your fingers. It's, it's not perfecting technique. It's not, you know, making the most perfect sounding chord in the world. I'm just trying to show you where to put your fingers. So first one we're gonna do is E major. So you take your middle finger and you put it on the second fret, second string from the top. So that is your A string. Then you take your ring finger and you put it right behind that on the third string from the top on the second fret as well. So these two are right next to each other on that second fret. And then your pointer finger goes on the string just below that first fret. So you've got middle finger, then ring finger, then first finger, second fret, second fret, first fret. And it makes an E major chord. I love this chord. It just sounds whole, sounds nice. I, and it's really easy to do. Your hand feels comfortable in this position. Again, pinky's not doing a whole lot, it's just chilling. It's a very comfortable chord. So that's your E major chord. And you can strum every string for that chord. Oh, gorgeous. All right, the next chord that I wanna do is A minor. And the reason why I put these in the same thing, you're probably thinking, why would you do a major chord and a minor chord in the same video? And it's because they're the same hand shape. All you have to do is move everything down one string. That's it. So now instead of second from the top, third from the top, fourth from the top, you have third from the top, fourth from the top, fifth from the top. So you've got second or yeah, second fret is middle finger and third finger, just like before. And then first fret is, or yeah, first fret is pointer finger. You just moved down a string. A minor. So this is an easy one to practice switching between A minor and E major. So all you gotta do is move it over. So this is A minor and you can play every string, A minor. Full disclosure, this is my favorite chord ever. All right, so we have E major, A minor, and now all that's left is E minor. Let's go back to E major. So you have middle finger, second fret, second from the top, ring finger just behind that, on the second fret, on the string just below that, and then just below that, on that string, on the fourth string from the top, index finger is on the first fret. For E minor, all you gotta do, lift the pointer finger. E minor, so it's just these two fingers. You're kinda given like the, the, the rock sign with your hand to do this chord. So it's just these two fingers right on those two. Go back to E major. All you gotta do is put this finger down. Take it away, E minor. So that's E major, A minor, back to E major, E minor. I recommend practicing switching between those just like that, E major, a minor, E major, E minor. That way you use E major as a home base for that. But yeah, so those are some of my absolute favorite chords. And again, practice switching between chords. Start adding like, go to G major, and then maybe go to C major, because we practiced that in the first, in the first chord video. And then maybe throw in an A minor and then go back to G, you know? So you have G, C, A minor, and then G again. So you'll see how they kind of are related or not, or similar or not, what's easy to switch to, what's not. And yeah, so 
E major, A minor, E minor is what you learned today. So now you know G, C, F, D, A major, A minor, E major, and E minor. You guys know eight chords. That's awesome. So keep practicing on switching between chords. And in the next video, I will teach you how some of those chords can come together to make some of your favorite songs. So yeah, um, I hope you guys had a lot of fun and thank you for making music with me.